Hello, hello. Hey, Capricorns. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Too Intuitive, and welcome back to Intuitive Queendom Tarot. How y'all doing? Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so you guys are updated every time I upload a new video. Okay, um, I've been trying to do it at the end, but I'm going to do the introduction in the beginning because some of y'all don't even take the time to watch my little video all the way to the end so I can tell y'all to do that stuff. Okay, but support your girl. You hear me? Okay. I got you guys' throat chakra candle lit again for balance and awakening. I have you guys' good vibes candle lit. And I have my little angel there. I don't know if you can see her, but she's there. She's there for support. Okay. Um, again, um, I have you guys' four card spread, the situation, the obstacle, the advice, and the outcome. And I'm in my daughter's room, you guys, for the lighting. We already went over this. But for you guys who don't know, I am in my daughter's room. Okay. I know we got those people in the comments who like to ask all type of questions, crazy questions that has nothing to do with the reading. Okay, but let's hop right into it. You guys, it's overall energy. It's the eight of pentacles. Okay. And I feel like this is you, Capricorn. This is you. Okay, you fine. You fine, Capricorn. But I also feel like you're focusing on your pentacles right now. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you're focused on your pentacles, okay, and just focusing on focusing on you, focusing on your wants and needs, okay, focusing on your basic everyday necessities, okay, what makes you happy, make sure your needs are met, okay, you got plenty more pentacles, okay, I feel like you guys have options, okay, but right now, I feel like you guys are really just focused on yourself. Okay, Capricorn? For you guys, the situation you guys have, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Okay. Can you see that? And to me, <laughs> with this card, I feel like you guys may have been um, looking for peace in other people, okay? Just looking to hang out and looking for you know, just a fun time looking for those good vibes, okay? And you, you just haven't been able to get that with people, okay? It always seems like there's some drama or some negative hating people around you, okay? But Spirit saying peace comes from within, okay? Do not seek it without. So if you, you are what you attract, guys, okay? So if you are <clears throat> steady, steady um, constantly attracting people that are negative or you know, just always hating, just always, okay, that peace has to come from within. There's inner work that you need to do because you are what you attract. So if those people are, you know, you're around those people, it's for a reason, okay? You need to ask yourself what it is about yourself that attracts you to those type of people, okay? What inner work you need to do for yourself to disconnect from those people and spirit is saying, look, look at those, the peace is just like, Chuck out the deuces to the bullshit, okay? Sorry for the cursing for those of you um, who don't like that in the readings. I curse very rarely when I do. But I feel like you guys are chucking out the bull chucking out the deuces to the bullshit. Okay? And start to seek that peace within, okay? Starting to focus on yourself. You, you I feel like you guys are already doing that, okay? Well, that is clarified. You guys had the... Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands pop out. Okay. All right. And with this, this, this um Knight of Cups, I feel like this is this this is symbolizing your dreams or you know, imaginations or stuff like that. But I feel like this is you um starting to chase your dreams, okay? Starting to chase your dreams and your wants, okay. And you're starting, you're starting to try and make your dreams your reality, okay? And I feel like with the Six of Wands, you're going to be triumphant at it, okay? With all the haters behind you and everything, like, he's on his on his high horse. He's triumphant at everything. He's the only one with a reef on his wand. He's, he has his back turned, but with his back turned, you see those people? You see how that dude is looking at him? Like, he's ready to knock him off his high horse. Okay, so y'all got some haters in the background. And that's okay. We all do. We all do. But in the midst of that, you're chasing your dreams. You're trying to do what makes you happy. Okay? 
And I feel like Spirit is saying you're triumphant in it, at that right now. You're doing it. Coins are looking good. You're focused on your coins right now, Capricorn. Okay? And it's paying off. It's paying off. You got peace doing that. Okay? You don't have to worry about all the haters when you focused on yourself. When you Sometimes when you focus on yourself, though, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes when you focus on yourself, you attract all type of haters. You attract all type of people. And you're like, I'm not even doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused on me. I'm, I'm trying to, look, I'm just trying to get some money. I'm just trying to focus on my pentacles right now. And I always got haters. You know what I'm saying? Get off my back. Get off my back. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you, Capricorn. Okay. I feel y'all. Okay. For you guys, it's obstacle. You have stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. Okay, Capricorn. So some of y'all are really down on yourself. Like maybe y'all feel like y'all don't have friends or all the relationships you've been in just didn't work out with people. And you feeling like, okay, at this time, maybe is it me? Okay, what's wrong with me at this point? The Spirit is saying, stop criticizing yourself. You good. You're perfect just the way you are. Whoever got dismissed out of your life is their loss, not yours. Okay, you don't have to criticize yourself. OK, whoever whoever got the boot out of your life or is no longer you're lo no longer communicating with this person. It's their loss. Focus on those pentacles like you're doing. Focus on you. That peace comes from within. the peace that you're seeking from other people. That junk comes from within, y'all. So don't worry about it. Who, whoever's not down, whoever is not on that positive note with you or trying to help you be better. Or do better who's not encouraging you to do better for yourself. You got those people who's crabs in a bucket. Always want to see you down. Always pulling you down. Okay? If you got them type of people around you, it's like, spirit is like, deuces. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Okay? Nobody got time for that. But that is clarified with. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay. This card is obstacle. You guys, it's obstacle. It's clarified with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay. And with this Knight of Swords, I feel like this is fast communication. Okay. This is somebody rushing in. Okay. With some fast communication. But I also feel like this is Spirit saying, since it's you guys' it's obstacle, I feel like this is Spirit saying, okay, some of you. Are, um, could also just be jumping into relationships too fast, okay? And not trying, um, and now I feel like with the Three of Wands, you guys are trying to trying to have a different approach, okay? You're trying to have a different approach with how you um, pursue people, pursue your relationships, okay? I feel like this is you deciding to kind of try to bring some balance into your life, okay? With the Three of Wands, you're like, you're deciding like which direction to go in, Okay? Like you're moving forward, but you, you and it's fast, okay? You're moving fast. You're, you're chasing, you're chasing again. You're chasing your dreams, and you're gonna be triumphant. And it's coming in fast. You're moving fast, okay, Capricorn. You're moving fast. But spirit is saying, <laughs> again, with that moving fast, slow down, okay? Slow down, okay? And make sure you're not just jumping into situationships, okay? situationships and wondering why they're not working out okay stop jumping into these relationships so fast and really focus on yourself work on yourself with that find that inner healing do that inner healing work capricorn okay and right now i don't really see any cups in you guys this reading i don't see any um uh, yeah i don't see this as a love reading at all i feel like a lot of you guys capricorns are single okay and in this time of you guys being single, I feel like you guys are realizing, you guys are realizing the pain you guys been through with the, the, the things that you guys have put up with other people, the things you have allowed yourself to put up with from other people, which has caused you to criticize yourself, okay, and try and figure out like what's wrong with, like what's wrong with you. The spirit is saying, there's nothing wrong with you, honey. You're not the problem. And if you are, 
which I doubt it. I doubt you are the problem, but if you are a spirit saying, just continue doing what you're doing, working on yourself diligently and to slow down, stop rushing into relationships because some of you guys are just rushing into stuff because you, you know, you're lonely at the time or whatever the case may be. But okay, these two did pop out for you guys for your advice. So I did take both of them. You guys have everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. And then you guys have let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. I feel like I need to read that again. Let things come and go. Period. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So whatever it is you guys are scared of, let me, I'm guessing some of you is, you guys are scared to be lonely or scared to be by yourself or scared you won't find love. Let things come and go. Stay calm. Just chill. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So I feel like you guys are already on the right track. Okay. Focusing on your pentacles. Okay. Focusing on your pentacles. Finding that inner peace within yourself. Okay. And that just makes sense. Spirit is saying, you, okay, let, let go. Stop criticizing yourself. Okay, get out of this energy. Okay, let that stuff go. Don't don't let people come in your energy and disturb your energy. Period. Like, because you have people that you have people that does that. Like, like energy vampires. Seriously, like people see your light. People see your light. People see your, you know, that you're vibrating at a different on a different plane. Okay, and people are like, oh, who who does who does B think she is? Okay, who she thinks she is? Okay, you have people like that and you have to deal, you have to figure out a healthy way to deal with that type of energy that come up against you. You have to know the spirit is with you regardless. So if you know you're doing nothing wrong, you know you're 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 living righteously or trying to live righteously, you're not, you know, because karma always come back to bite people in the ass. Okay, I'm just saying. But I feel like if you know you're living right, don't worry about the people that's trying to come up against you while you focus, while you're trying to focus on what you got going on, okay? Just continue to do that. Continue to do that regardless, okay? These two cards are clarified, and then <laughs> both of these came out with these. So, you have the Eight of Wands and the Four of Swords. And the way it came out, <laughs> they came out like this, so I'm going to read it like this. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. With this eight of wands, this is whatever is coming in for you, whatever you're working on, it's coming in fast, okay? Coming in so damn fast that you, you're you going to be like, damn, I didn't expect it, okay? I didn't expect it, okay? But you can realize once you got getting gotten over that fear, okay? And stop criticizing yourself. Spirit is saying, your blessings are going to be coming in fast, okay? And then with this four of swords, and it's like, let things go, stay calm, okay? Don't let anybody disturb your peace and carry on. That's perfect with this four. You see that four of swords? Do he not look peaceful? Do he not look peaceful? This is Spirit saying to retreat. Retreat. Get some rest, Okay? Retreat, chill, chill on these folks, okay? Don't let these people come in and disturb your energy, period. This, let things go, stay calm, okay? Because whatever's coming towards you is coming fast. And it, it, I can't tell you if it's positive or negative, but whatever it is, stay calm. The advice is to stay calm and not to let anybody disturb your peace, okay? Some of you may need to um, be meditating at this time. Meditating will be very crucial for a lot of you at this time meditation 
Capricorns, meditation is so important. I'm sorry, I don't want to get off topic, but we have to talk about this right quick. I have to, this, I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to know if you are not meditating or you have never meditated before, Google search, okay? Meditation. Okay, you guys, YouTube these tarot videos. YouTube meditation. Okay. And do, do your own little personal research on how to get started. You know, meditation is really just simply closing your eyes. Focus on your breathing. Okay. Deep inhale. Positive energy. Exhale. Negative energy. Eyes closed. Find you somewhere that's quiet. Somewhere where you're not distracted. Turn your phone off. Turn your TVs off. Turn it. Complete silence. If you have to get in your car, if that's the only private place you have in your house, you have to go get in your car just to meditate for 10 minutes a day, okay? Go somewhere where you can literally close your eyes and um, clear your mind, clear your thoughts, okay? we ha It's very essential that we do this daily, Okay, because we have we have thousands of thoughts a day. Okay, and it's just very it's so hard for us to focus on one thing if we're trying to be focused on our pentacles. We're trying to be focused on one thing, but we have so much stress, so so many other things that we're thinking about throughout the day. It's like we're not just focused on we can't just focus on that, you know. In between time, we're doing this, okay? We're criticizing ourselves, okay? We're trying to find that inner peace. We're trying to, you know constantly battling ourselves mentally okay so you find yourself doing that is 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 there's a need for you guys to meditate meditate and retreat okay get you some rest capricorn make sure you guys are not overworking yourself okay because some of you guys are working so hard and so focused on that okay trying not to think about the bs so you're kind of overworking yourself Make sure you guys are not overworking yourself. Make sure you guys are getting enough rest, enough rest, okay? And relax, relaxation and meditation. So it's, it's essential for you guys to meditate. I, I can't stress that enough. If you're not meditating, you're not thinking clearly throughout your day, period. That's, that's just the honest truth. If you are not meditating at least once a day, you're not thinking clearly. Because you don't even know what it's like, you know, what your thoughts are like when your mind is clear. How you're going to know if you if you never tried, okay? I promise you, a lot of you will feel very, you guys will feel so much better. First time you meditate, you'll feel the stress, the, you know, like the, like the, like a weight off your shoulders, okay? It's like, okay, I can relax, especially if you're, um, working on your breathing techniques the entire time that's very essential for you guys to be focusing on your breathing and continue to allow yourself to be relaxed with every breath every breath every time you exhale your body you're allowing your body to relax a little more than the first breath you took all the way until you feel your body just relaxing and just breathing your mind is totally clear and now you can feel the thoughts positive thoughts that you you wouldn't think about when you're your eyes are open, okay? We think with our eyes closed too, guys, okay? When you guys have dreams, you go to sleep. We don't think that we can think with our eyes closed, but we can. This is the way we should be thinking, okay? This is the way we should be making decisions. This is how you go within, okay? Closing your eyes, clearing your mind, meditating, really having a logical and really putting thought into the decisions you are making in your life, okay? Okay? Sorry, I had to get that out. Okay, um, we're going to go to you guys' outcome. I'm dropping cards. I don't know about y'all. Some of y'all, I'd be happy when I drop my deck cards. I know some people be mad, like, oh, I dropped my deck. I'd be so happy when I accidentally drop the deck because I just know that the cards are going to flip out and it's going to be something like it's, it's like spirits. And I'm like, every message, I'm like, okay. Any little thing, I'm like, oh, the spirit's giving me a message. Like, what is that? So if I drop them and they flip over on another side, I just automatically feel like that message is for somebody. Like, <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I know I need to chill with it. But, okay, for you guys, the outcome you have, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Look, that message couldn't be more clear, Capricorn. You'll meet, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. 
And I feel like right now, a lot of you guys just know that's not the time right now because you guys are focused on, you guys are focused on your, your pentacles. You're focused on yourself right now. So, of course, it's not time for love. You have, you know you haven't met your soulmate. You just haven't yet. But I was clarified with this tower. And, oh, my God, this tower, something with this tower card, something is about to be spicy. Okay, this, for some reason, I never feel like this for the tower card. But this is, this card, for some reason, it was, like, spicy. Came up in my head for some reason. I don't know who that is, like, it's going to be spicy. This tower is going to be spicy for y'all, Capricorn. I don't know why that's, but look, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's going to be spicy. It's going to spice up for y'all. Y'all lives are going to spice up, okay, Capricorn, with this tower. I don't feel like this is, um, I don't feel like this is like an end into a relationship, but even if it is an end into a relationship, I feel like. I feel like this is just really a test of faith for you right now, Capricorn. I feel like this is a test of faith, okay? I feel like this is, you guys have to prepare yourself spiritually and mentally. Seriously, it's time for you guys to prepare yourself spiritually and mentally with this tower, for this tower. Because it's coming for you guys between now and the 15th. So I feel like you guys have to prepare yourself mentally and spiritually. And I also feel like you've had it up to here. You had it up to here. You've had it up to your head with this tower. The way that crown is like the tower is falling, okay? And the crown is like tipping over. The crown is about to fall over. Okay, the burning building, everybody jumping out the window. I'm like, ah. Okay. But I feel like you just had it up to your head. And I feel like this is this is a test of faith from spirit. Okay. You'll meet your soulmate when the time is right. You see, like I said, you guys need to be preparing yourself mentally and spiritually. For this tower, look at this card. You see how they're showing the brain, which is connected to the heart here. I feel like they are connected mentally and spiritually, okay, with the heart. But with the saying, you'll meet your soulmate when the time is right. It's going to be a tower moment for you guys. And it, again, like I said, I feel like it's just a test of faith. Okay. Tower moments. When we have tower moments, it's like, again, a, a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. Okay. So if you're having a tower moment, something is ending. What does that mean? If something is ending, something new is about to begin. Okay. Something new is about to begin. If something old ended, especially if it was toxic. OK, especially if this person, you know, wasn't. You guys know if this person was, you know, what I'm saying doing too much, too toxic, too much arguing, too much fighting, drinking, overindulgence and anything. OK, of too much. Just toxicity, period. OK, because also the devil did try show as I was doing you guys this pre shuffle. The devil did show himself in the pre shuffle. So I feel like this tower moment is just a test of faith. Okay, just a test of faith to make sure spirit is saying we're, we're trying to make sure if you're chasing your dreams and you're saying this is what you want to do, you're going to focus, you're going to start focusing on yourself. Okay, and start chasing your dreams. Spirit is saying you're going to be triumphant at it. Okay, you're going to be triumphant at it, and it's coming fast. Okay, it's coming fast. It's going to be a tower moment. So spirit is saying retreat. Okay. Make sure you're getting a lot of rest. Make sure you're not overworking yourself. Make sure that meditation I told you guys about. Make sure you guys are trying to meditate. Okay. Because it's going to be essential at this time. This tower moment may cause a lot of um, stress and anxiety. Okay. And meditation is does wonders with that kind of thing. Okay. I, I know me personally, stress and anxiety. Okay. When you look, breathing. Breathing is essential. Breathe all the way in. Okay? Feel it in your lungs, okay? When you breathe out, tell yourself, breathe it out, tell that I'm breathing out negative energy. Let yourself know, okay? Positive energy. Breathing in that positive energy. 
blow the negative out, negative energy out. You'll feel it. You'll feel it in your body. You'll feel that weight, that stress coming off your back, falling off your body. Okay, Capricorn? But I, I, I do feel like you guys are, are about to be triumphant. I do feel like you guys are working on yourselves. You guys are letting go of the BS, ignoring the haters, okay? Ignoring the people in your background, crabs in a bucket that's trying to bring you down, okay? Focusing on yourself, focusing on your dreams, focusing on your health. Was that meditation? That's part of health. Focusing on yourself, okay? Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself, getting the rest you need, okay? Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So don't let anybody, let things come and go. If people don't belong in your life, the spirit is going to knock them out, okay? If they're not there to stay, they're, they're, they're not supposed, people that are supposed to be in your life stays in your life, okay? And if they're not meant to be, or if they leave your life, if they're meant to be in your life, they'll come back, okay? It'll be another cycle with that person, especially if things um, ended bad or there was no closure from that situation. There'll be a cycle that comes back around where you can, have closure or clarity from that situation. But right now, let things come and go. Don't let anything disturb your peace, okay? Chill out and continue to focus on yourself. You got it, Capricorn. Whatever it is you're doing, you got it. You'll be triumphant in it, okay? And you'll find, you'll meet your soulmate when the time is right, okay? But make sure you guys are mentally and spiritually ready for this tower, and in order to do that, you guys need to get the rest, okay? Get the rest. Do the breathing exercises. Get that meditation done. I don't care. Make time for it, okay? If you don't, it's your life, okay? I'm just the messenger. <laughs> okay, but I love y'all Capricorns. Take care. I'll see y'all during the next reading. Bye.